A few months ago, I did an unboxing of the Lunial Menstrual Cup from France. And now I'm back to give you my thoughts and uh, my review about how it went with it. I got to use all three different sizes uh, during a couple of different periods and it kind of took me a little bit to work them out and you'll hear about that in a little bit. Uh, so if you are interested in hearing how my experience went and the issues that I had with it, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Just to give you a reminder of which cup this is, it is the one that has a unique design uh, that has the slopes on it. And uh, those slopes are for finger placements, which they call moon pads. They don't actually have a stem on the top. There is a little piece of silicone here. It is a little thicker and a little bit more firm. So when you pinch down on those moon pads, your fingers can hook behind it. Some of you have asked for comparison videos with the Luniel cups against some of the other cups that I have on hand, but uh, the Luniel has different firmness areas, so it's really hard to get a good read on them. I did use the small and the medium more often than I used the large, and my cervix was more of a medium than on the higher side like it normally is. I probably had the easiest time getting the small cup to open. Uh, it's just, you know, more compact. That firmness is all closer together than it is on a medium or a large cup. So it didn't matter where I folded this cup, I was able to get it to pop open. However, the um, medium and the larger cups, that firmness is spread out a little bit more. And when I would just fold it up, not even looking at it, just wherever, I couldn't get the cup to pop open. Every time I folded it on the moon pads, that area didn't have enough um, firmness to pop the cup open. So I went ahead and removed it and I turned it the other way. So now I have that bridge of silicone between the moon pads this way. The firmness from this little bridge made the cup want to force itself open. After I got that figured out, uh, using the small and the medium went fine. Uh, they were comfortable, they were easy to open, and also really easy to remove for me. Uh, remember, my cervix was on the medium uh, side instead of the high side, so I was able to reach it bear down and pinch these. I really, really liked the moon pads. Uh, my fingers sank right into it and then, then the bridge let me lock my fingers behind it to be able to remove it really easily. And on to the large cup. So I used the large cup for a couple of days and I really didn't have too big of issues with it. Uh, I did have to fumble with it a little bit more to get it to open. By the third night, I was at the tail end of my period and my cervix had moved a little bit higher. But I was still able to reach it to remove it, empty it out, and when I went to reinsert it, I did have some trouble. I was in the shower, I squatted down, I bared down with my muscles to bring my cervix closer to the opening of my vagina, I inserted the cup, and I must have um, missed my cervix and gone next to it into the vaginal fornix, and the base of the cup opened up, but the rim of the cup kind of stayed um, closed or smashed. I was able to pull it back enough with one finger just kind of nudging the uh, moon pads area so that the cup could drop down a little bit and allow my cervix to sit inside of the cup. But with all of my fumbling, somehow I managed to push uh, the base of the cup kind of inside of the cup and it didn't want to pop back out. So it kind of looked like this. Um, I'm not sure that it looked like this while it was inside, but it felt like it was something like this. And I couldn't really pinch any of these areas uh, because it was so high. It had The cup had moved up around my cervix and I could probably feel about this much of it, get this much of it between my fingertips and that wasn't, uh, 
allowing me to pull the cup down or anything. I could barely reach it with one finger. I could press against it, but it just didn't want to drop down. I started to panic and I was like, okay, I'll, I'll just get it after. Let me finish taking a shower and I'll get out and go to the other bathroom. I got out and I went to that other bathroom and I squatted down, bared down and tried to remove it and I couldn't reach it. I could just barely reach it, but not enough to pinch down on it and remove it. I started to cramp and needed to take another break and my husband kept asking me, is there anything I could do? And I'm like, no, 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 I got this. About a half an hour later, I was still trying and I was dry, I was swollen and I was cramping and I just, laid on the bed. I just kind of had to relax and breathe. He came over and he's like, you know, are you sure? There's nothing I can do for you. Um, and finally I was like, try to get it out, but make sure you break the seal because it feels like it's sucking down on my cervix. I laid on the bed like I was giving birth and I was pushing with my muscles. He was at the foot of the bed like he was ready to deliver. Uh, my cup, he could barely reach the cup as well. So we had to reposition ourselves. I squatted down and he kind of laid on the ground and was like fixing a car uh, because that's the best for me to be able to bear down uh, harder than if I was just laying down on my bed. And he was in an awkward angle trying to get this out, but it hurt. He had to push really hard to be able to reach it. And he said that he used his two fingers and kind of like tried to grab it like this. And uh, I was like, no, you got to break the seal. You got to break the seal. And so he pulled it back a little bit to break the seal, but I could still feel it suctioning onto my cervix. So he did you know, pull on my cervix some. I cramped the rest of the night after we got it out. We finally got it out. I kept waking up. It was so sore and I, I'm i kind of scared to use that cup again. I can usually use short cups, but they have a stem that I can reach, wiggle it down, and then be able to break the seal on my own. But um, I, for us, or for me, <laughs> for us, having those moon pads, if they're not positioned correctly for me to be able to grab it just you know it's not something that I think about to have that positioned a certain way uh, to be able to grab onto it easily so I just I didn't want to use it again I'm glad that my husband is not squeamish and you know he'll do things like that for me but that was that was pretty awful that night since that happened, I haven't used these cups again. I'm scared and I totally understand uh, the people that ask if the cup can get stuck or say that it can get stuck because I did feel like this one got, got stuck. It is scary and, and I'm sorry for ever thinking, how silly can you be? So I apologize. Uh, if you ever had that experience or if you ever thought that a, a cup would get stuck and somebody says, no, 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 it can't. It can come out, but it will never like get lost and stuck. One more thing I was concerned about was the clarity of the cups. I've only had these cups since uh, November and the medium, which is the one that I used the most, kind of changed. If I put them up, you can kind of see it right there. So I don't know what's going on there. If it's wear and tear, it shouldn't because it's only a few months old. The medium, oh, hello. The medium is not even the, the one that we had to keep messing with. Well, that's all I have about the Luniel menstrual cups for now. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Um, I will say that I wouldn't recommend these cups to somebody that has a medium to high cervix. Medium to low might be just fine. Um, I really do like the design of these cups. I think they're unique and I do like the finger pads. Also leave me a comment down below if you've ever had a cup that felt like it was stuck or if you actually needed somebody to help you get it out or even went to the ER or the doctors. Let me know your story. Until I see you next time, take care.